So, the ultimate life series SMP quiz. Do you think you know the intricacies of the life series? Have you watched every POV and store a all the little details deep underneath the mountain of brain rot? Probably. But I feel like this is also going to get so detailed that I'm not going to know it. Um, oh man, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Are you itching for the next season? Waiting with bated breath and need a little refresher on the trivia you've forgotten? Test your knowledge with how much you've actually obsessed with this seasonal Minecraft event server in this 100 question trivia quiz. There will be 25 questions per season with questions that will cover a wide range of POVs. The following questions are all about the character, not the players, unless otherwise clarified. Please do not look up any answers or use any wikis. This quiz was last updated on September. Blah, blah. So this is by Chris Rin. If you guys have not seen Chris Rin's animatics, um, then you guys have to look, Google that username on, on YouTube because their animatics are second to none. They're like, or they're called animations. They should, they sh there are animations. They're not animatics anymore. They are so good. They are so flipping good. If you haven't seen them, go away <laughs> and see them now, basically. That's, this will not stand if you haven't seen them. <laughs> I will forgive you from stepping away from the stream for a bit if you go and watch those animatics. Anyway, that's that's what we got here. Um, let me just quickly scroll down, add my name, and I will continue. Right. There we go. We start. Because I didn't quite want my email on there. Left full screen. There we go. Oh, it's on the email again. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um... Where it all began, the following 25 questions will relate to the first season of the life series. Third life. Third life has been so long ago. Which player used his creep, his hiss soundboard to prank other players? That was Martin. Also, don't give me like any, um, don't give me any tips. Don't give me any tips because I, I, I kind of want to try and do this on my own. Which player lost all their lives in a singular session? All their lives in a singular session. Who was the final green? Was it Bigby? I think it was Bigby. Or was it Scott? I feel like it was Bigby. I feel like Bigby was... Hello there. Hello, hello, BB Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here, my dude. Um, I think it was Bigby because I think Bigby was the last green. But I'm not sure. I, it could also be Scott. It was not B-dubs. It was not Tango. So I think it was Bigby. I think. Uh, when did Scott lose his first life? Because I know he was killed twice very quickly. Because he went back to get his all his items and then he was killed again. Because he was chased by... Was that the same episode that Gr Jimmy was lost? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. I don't think it was Scott. I think... Because they had to kill Bigby multiple times. Because Bigby was gone for an episode. What disc did Cleo, B-dubs and Impulse find while caving in session? Oh my gosh, I don't know. What do you find while... In you only find Cat in caves, right? Cat and 13. You don't find anything else. Unless they got Creeper to, blur to, to... This is a Minecraft quest and you only find Cat in chests. So I think that's it. What, what item did Joel try to have Monopoly on? Dead bushes. <laughs> I remember that because that was one of my first, like... Or was that... No, that must have been... Was it Cactus? No, it must have been dead bushes because... That is one of my first memories of Joel. Because <laughs> I didn't watch him before. I didn't know who he was before. Um, who were the three members of the Blue Sword Boys? That was Bigby, Martin and Green. I'm so intrigued to know if I get these right. But there was definitely something going on with dead bushes. There were no sweet berries on the map. There were no acacia slappings on the map. Uh, it could have been cactus, but I don't think it was. I think Gr um, Scar and Green were trying on cactus and people were still stealing it anyway. So dead bushes, I think it was. But I'm still so unsure with Bigby or Scott. Oh, I'm going to be so sad if it's Scott. Anyway, um, what was the initial resource Green and Scar were trying to monopolize? Um, oh, well, come on. That could be Dark Oak Sacklings, but that would also be... Sand, because they were trying to do sand and dark. So, this is not nice. Like, they were trying to monopolize. So, Scar came to Green saying, I want to monopolize sand. And then Green said to Scar, I want to monopolize dark oak saplings. 
what was the initial resource? I think, I think, like with the wording of the question, I think they mean dark oak saplings because they built, they like in the, in the end of, at the end of the first session, they destroyed the entire dark oak forest. You think it's about what Scar said first? Scar said sand first. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Does the kitty cat need feeding? We'll see if they need feeding, maybe. But here, meow meow. Maybe he'll come up. Maybe we'll have a flashy here. Kitty cat. <sighs> yeah, sand was hard to monopolize. Obviously sand is hard to monopolize, but like, we're talking about Scar here. <laughs> I think it's good. I'm going for Dark Oak Saplings. I'm going for Dark Oak Saplings. Talking about trying true, true, cool. What was the name of Scar's pet bee? Mr. Bubbles, that I remember. Which player left a sign on Pizza's hut with a message, Pizza lives? Not Cleo, because Cleo um, initially killed Pizza. Um, that, this is the thing, I didn't watch Jimmy's POV, so it could have been Jimmy, but I don't know. And Ren and Martin would have hung up together. I don't think it's something that Jimmy would type. I'm going to say Martin, but I really don't know on this one. I think it could be any of the three. I don't think it was Cleo. During session five, which player burned down Joel's roof? I'd say Cleo, I think. Cleo's an arsonist. Which three players were killed by Green's TNT trap? That was Jimmy, Ren, and Skiz. What did Scar offer to Green as a peace offering when Scar turned red? A bundle of flowers. That's an obscure fact. What was the reason B-Dubs gave um, Tango for being sent to the firing range? He wore a helmet, right? Well, hello, Daniel. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here, my dude. Hi, hi. Um, He wore a helmet, yeah? Betrayed, nope, he did not betray the castle. Killed the last cow on the server. No, he had so many cows, there was no reason. Okay, no, it was, well, he wore a helmet. What was the name of the cow that Scott and Jimmy kept in the Flower Valley? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Welcome back, Lex. I don't know. They all had something to do with D. Oh, this, I didn't watch their POV, so I, I don't know this. Dandelion, Daffodil, Daisy, Dahlia. It's not Dahlia. Was it Daisy? I feel like Daisy is correct. You know this one? Don't give me any info. Don't give me any info. I'm going for Daisy. Um, what was the name of the axe used to sacrifice Ren's second life? Red Winter is coming. Red Winter is coming. Or the Red King rises. Not long live the Red King and not the Red Winter. Red King rises. I think the Red Winter is coming because that was like, everyone was like, what do they mean by the Red Winter? What was the initial name of Ren's enchanting business? Ren chanting, Ren's magical mountain, <laughs> Scar's magical mountain, Ren dog's enchanted emporium, the Red Army enchanted hall. Definitely not the Red Aunt do enchanted hall. Um, so the question is, is this what Ren called it before Martin came along? Because Martin, I think, came along and called it Ren chanting. I think. But I, I'm also between Ren dog's enchanted emporium because I feel like that's something that Ren would call it before Martin came along, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna call Ren, I'm gonna say Ren chanting. That might be the obvious answer, but it also might be like, oh no, don't worry. It's not an abstract one, but they're trying to bamboozle us. Oh, which player had acquired bad omens effect at the end of session one or, and through shenanigans initiated a raid with it? Martin. <clears throat> you watched Martin's POV for fun, but somehow forgot. Yeah, do you, do you watch some people's, not, uh, some people's POV not for fun, Daniel? Which player informs Scar that Pizza is actually alive, but doesn't reveal who has them? Um, I think... So, so Cle Ren watched Cleo walk past with Pizza. It could be Ren, I think. Got 70 out of 100, nice. This stream is definitely drawing out less stuff as it seems. Yes, cucumber. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> we've taken a we've taken a turn. We're, we're doing the we're doing the live series quiz. I think I'm gonna be worse. Hello, Hawk. Welcome back from the void. We're doing the 100 question live series quiz, and Hawk, I feel awful because I'm failing at all the flower husbands. 
I'm failing at, failing at all the flower husband's questions. You, you may, um, you may, next time we're in a VC, you may bash me for it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel awful because um, Hawk loves the flower husbands. How dare? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Hawk, I realize now that I never watched their POV, so I don't know what their cow was called. I haven't a clue what their cow was called. <laughs> um, yeah. So I feel like, oh, this is, you fail to retrieve your brain, brain cell again. This is actually really like obscure knowledge. Some of these I know exactly, but like, oof. I, I, this is very, very obscure knowledge. Well, you know what our next botch party is? That's fair, that's fair. Scott or Jimmy's POV? Oh, well, Scott's POV probably, because Jimmy's isn't as long. Um, which player informs Scott that Peter is actually alive but doesn't reveal who has him? I think it's Ren. I'm going to go for Ren. I think, because Ren saw um, Cleo drag Peter away. That was quite a comical moment. During the third, third session, what two items does Impulse get from Sky in exchange for four diamonds? Two items. I don't think it's a bundle of flowers. Oops, nope. I think it's a friendship pass and a free sand pass. You wish you watched Third Life when it came out, but you started watching during Last Life? No. Uh, 20, uh, 19 out of 25 on the third life part. Oh. Wow, that's pretty, that's not bad going, my dude. Which player gives Scott and Jimmy a bucket of a puffer fish during talks of an alliance? Wait. What? It's Scar or Green. It's Scar or Green, but I don't know. Because it's definitely not either or Impulse. They barely hung, they barely interacted with them. The pufferish of peace, yeah. But I was like, wait, didn't Scott give that to Jimmy? It wasn't that a thing between those two, not anyone else. I think it was Green. I feel like it was Green. Bye, Molly. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my dude. Hmm. <laughs> green. Because I feel like Green traded with a wandering villager. I don't know. Which player gives Impulse a banner of the Red Army declaring him as their official supplier of resources? Skiz, Martin, Ren, or Joel? <laughs> Joel, yeah, it was totally Joel. Hiya, Jester. Hello, hello, my dude. Um, I feel like I feel like this is only something that only Ren would do, right? Stream during the school. Oop. <laughs> I feel like this is something that only Ren was like allowed to do. Like Skiz was trying to get Mart uh, Martin. Skiz was trying to get Impulse on the side of dog wards, but um, it was like he wouldn't go against Ren in officially inviting them into it. It could have been Skiz, actually. It could have been Skiz in hindsight. Oh, sorry, Hawk. <laughs> We're taking a quiz, yeah. This is slightly off topic. This is very off topic. <laughs> sorry for people who are coming in expecting images, <laughs> drawing. Yes, we, I hope this is okay. I hope this is okay. Why does Scott set the wall castle on fire? To trap Eho inside in order to kill him, to get revenge for Jimmy's death, to lure the Red Army away from dog wards, to find a chest he hid underneath it. I think it's to lure the Red Army away from dog wards, right? I feel like, I feel like I remember that being kind of like a distraction tactic. Which two players were absent from session seven during I, uh, for IRL reasons? Big B and... I'd have just said Big B, but there were two apparently. Was it Joel? Big B and or Cleo? Was it Cleo? It wasn't Tango or Impulse. Oh, flip. Was it Joel? Was it? Oh, Hawk. Um, I'm doing it so that that peeps don't give me um hints. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do this myself. <laughs> Uh, but I will click Joel just just as a. <laughs> I'm trying to do this myself, so no, so no hints in chat, please. <laughs> Thank you. You want to know, my dude? It's fine. <laughs> I will click Joel because I was I was actually genuinely thinking of Joel. It was I was more leaning towards Joel. What item was given out in Tango's lava based challenge? Dare to flare. A pair of diamond boots. An enchanted pair of diamond boots. Um. What distraction tactic did Scar use while Grian made the bubble vater trap in the crystal base? He asked B-dubs for a tour. Nope. He asked, nope, not in the nether. He tried to sell B-dubs a coffin. That I remember. That happened. <laughs> Which player activates the no kill pass in order, in order to avoid death by Scar and Grian's hands? I have no idea. 
all of these guys, I think, got passes from them. And none of them were killed by Joel and Green's hands. I, well, Big B was in the end. Joel and Green. Scar and Green. I think it's something that Etho would do. But I don't know. Ah! I think this... I'm going to be worse at this. This is what I'm, the one I'm going to be worst at, I think, because I didn't watch all POVs and it's been so long. So let's see. Let's see. Um, and just in case personal information gets revealed while I'm doing this, that's just... Okay. Right. And we continue. So we don't get the... We don't get the... Oh, we don't get it until right at the end. Okay. So, now on to last life. Now on to last life. Who was the first person to be killed by a man? Grian. Which player finds pig step music disc and contemplates using it in an intimidation tactic by inflicting DMCA strikes with it? Um, I think that's Martin because I think Martin, Mumbo, and Jimmy were in the Nether. I think that I think those three were in the Nether and they then and they were raiding a bastion and I think Martin found one. Which player makes the first Ender chest on the server? What? What kind of question is that? Oh my gosh! There's only one person who would do that. Yeah. <laughs> who made the first Ender chest? What kind of? What kind of? Qu why would anyone exactly cucumber? Why would anyone know that? Um. I'm gonna say. They had Ender chest in. Yeah, they had Ender chest in last life. Gosh. I feel like it was Lizzie. Was it? Was it, was it Lizzie? I feel like they had an ender chest at the fairy fort. I'm not sure. Hmm. And Dino's live. Um, thanks for thanks for the tip, but uh, I am not like listening to chat when it comes to answering questions. If that's all right. But hi, also welcome. <laughs> Lovely to have you here, my dude. Remember seeing one? I think I remember seeing one in the fairy fort. What was the name of Pearl and Scott's base? The Scottage. The Green Lives Clubhouse was something different. The Pearl Scotch Scott Shack TM. The Scottage, I think. During session eight, oh, this is far, this is a long way. Hello, <laughs> hello, Andidas. During session eight, what technical mishap was discovered? The server had accidentally been left on easy. Yep, I could have, I could have said that without. During session six, which player threw a poison splash potion that set off a string of kills? Ether threw the potion, I think. Right? Because Ether was boogie, but. Was just it was just seeing what was gonna happen. Yeah, it's an ether move. Ether. What was the first redstone contraption that Mummo made for the Southlands? A sugarcane farm, a gas farm. Gas farm didn't have redstone in it, right? Lava trap entranceway and a smoke signal system. Oh, dude, I do actually think. Was that Mumbo? Thank you so much for following, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, lovely to have you here, my dude. You wonder how much chaos would have happened. Had the server been left on hard? There had been so there would have been so much more death. Like if people would have died a lot quicker. So they did have a smoke signal system right at the start outside of the Southlands. They didn't actually incorporate it into the base itself. I don't know if Mumbo made that. End crystals especially, exactly. That's that was my thought as well. Like everyone would have died to all the end crystals. They'd have been much more effective. So I don't know if Mumbo made that smoke signaling system. I don't think he did actually. I don't think he did. Ah, uh, the gas farm didn't have uh, the gas farm didn't have redstone. Mumbo would have had so many kills. Yeah, gas farm did not have redstone. So we're not we're not counting that. I've now got it clicked on that, but we're not counting that. Lava trapped entranceway was that was pretty late, wasn't it? That was where Scar died to it. So the sugarcane farm was before that. I'm going to go for the smoke signaling system because I know that that was like right at the beginning. Although I don't know that, I don't know if Mumbo built that. Don't know if Mumbo built that. I know that Green was like, this is a waste of time, guys. I don't know. No, I'm going to go for sugarcane farm. I'm, uh, it's a bit of an obvious answer, but I feel like that's like trying to bamboozle us. Darn it. I don't know. But by Maya, enjoy your dinner. I hope it's something nice. Which of mem which member of best decides to create a server map within their hidden base? That was Skiz. What name does Big B's secret persona take in order to hide his identity? That's Terry. Terry Jameson. How does Impulse escape Scott's first boogeyman to attempt uh, 
to attempt on him. He slips behind a secret passageway where Scott can't follow him. He trades all his equipment away in exchange for his life. He eats a golden apple, which gives him the um, health to escape. That's what happens. Teary! <laughs> which of these is not a crystal that Scar was attempting to sell? A Houdini escape crystal. It's the dexterity of the cat. Lucky luck. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave? That's not a Scar thing, is it? Do oh, is it a Scar thing? Dodge and weave. The Houdini escape crystal? I don't think I've seen that. I think the Houdini escape crystal sounds suspicious, so I'm gonna... Is Houdini even a word that Scar knows is kind of like my thought process? Man, I'm not as good as I thought at this. My goodness, this is really putting me to shame. Which player had the least amount of kills by the end of the series? Lizzie, Mumbo, Jimmy, Tango. I don't think Jimmy... I don't think... Mumbo or Jimmy killed us. No, Jimmy killed Tango. Tango killed no one. So Mumbo and Lizzie, Mumbo and Jimmy were all boogies, so they all killed someone at some point. Tango had the least. I don't think Tango killed anyone. What were the names of uh, Lizzie's three wolves? It was Taxes, Ogre. What was the third one? Dragon? I don't think Goblin, Siren, or Demon is something that Lizzie would name. Dragon. I know it was definitely Taxes. Ogre Dragon. I don't know. Why did Impulse die when Mumbo knocked him off the Ghast Farm ledge? He tried to do a water bucket trick in the nether. He couldn't pull off a boat trick due to his shield. That was it. He couldn't pull off. Um, how many players that haven't got Boogie yet? Just wondering. Skiz hasn't, and I don't think Cleo has either, or Green. Skiz, Cleo, Green are the only ones who haven't got Boogie yet, I think. <clears throat> couldn't pull off a boat bucket trick i know that because he was trying to practice it on stream and he was acing it on stream but he had a shield so that's why he couldn't um yeah which player goes red due to not fulfilling their boogeyman kill quota scott that's an easy one how many lives were paid out by tango when you bet your life to lizzie oh oh that was a it was a lot it was a lot more than two more than three and between four and five I, f I feel like it was five. I don't know who was a part of it, but I feel like it was five. Was Ren a boogeyman? Was Ren a boogeyman? No, Ren wasn't actually. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of people who were in limited life. Yeah, no, Ren wasn't, and Ren wasn't also in limited life. So he's also someone who was yet to be boogie. I think. I think. Um. No, no, he was. He was. Ren was boogie when Big B was boogie. He was in the Shadow Castle on Skiz. Yeah, yeah. Um, who was the second player to lose all their lives? Mumbo. Which player laid the trap chest that took out Bigby for a successful boogeyman kill despite them being inactive at the time? Pearl. That was Poil. How stoked am I to see the B-Dubs movie? I have been watching it. I have been watching it in the background. It's so cool just to have limited life going on in the background again, but I haven't had a lot of time. It's just such a long, long video. I'm quite a few hours in already, though. I'm at the point where... They um, are killing AF Gray, AFK Green. What was the name of Pearl's Axolot which Scott placed on the ground just before he death? It was Binky. I know that because I drew Binky in the stained glass art for the limited life um, animatic. Who was the first player to die a non-boogie related death? Jimmy Mumbo Lit. Not Jimmy. Non-boogeyman related. What would death would that have been then? Would that have just been a red kill? Mumbo. Mumbo was killed. Oh yeah, but obviously Mumbo fell into lava. Yeah, but Mumbo fell in lava. That's it. That's exactly where you were in the beat ups movie. Ha! Well, interesting. <laughs> Why did Tango rebuild the rock? Why did Tango build the rock to He wanted it to be unique and was sick of everyone building castles. Is that it? He wanted a place where Bess could meet up, even if they ended up not using it. No. He was planning to set up a trap within it for when he was boogeyman. Potentially. He had a ton of extra cobblestone from mining and wanted to, to use it for something. Oh gosh, I have no idea. This is a pure guess. This sounds like more of a Pearl thing. This is what Pearl did um, with the Green Lives Club. Although this feels like a Tango reason as well. This feels like a Tango reason as well. Mm. Hmm. It's, it's the background for you. According to Twitter, you can hear Scar swear, but it's so faint. Who knows what he said? What? Really? 
Oh, okay. Wow, Scar swearing? I like, I wouldn't imagine Scar swearing just like in normal life. That just, when was that? <laughs> okay. He wanted to play, he wanted a place for best, so it's definitely not that one. It's like between that one, that one, and that one for me. So I'm gonna go for this one because this one fact sounds like tango. He's really laughing, it sounds like he's saying so flipping funny, what? Yeah, Cleo is more, more likely to swear. I would never think that Skull would even know any swear words. He's way too innocent for that, man. Which of the following players was the last one to be on their yellow life? Martin, because he had his last stand. What did Lizzie get from team best in exchange for the enchantment table? Um, two pieces of diamond armor. Cause, cause B-dubs and skiz came back, shirt and pants. How many kills does did Joel have by the end of the series? So many, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can count them. Let's see if we can count them. So, Joel killed, like he was boogie at the start and he died so many times. So he did kill, end up killing like Pearl, I think, or Scott, he ended up killing Scott. Then he killed Green by knocking him off the ledge. He got boogie again. He got a life back with Green, but then he got Boogie again and killed Lizzie. He... He would just run in and steal kills. Like, he killed Ma He killed Green again, um... After Green killed Mumbo and Jimmy. And stole Martin's kill. Uh... Gosh. Joel was red for most of that series. He got so many kills. I'm going for 12. Because it was just so flipping many. Ridiculously many. Who was the first player to die in the Battle Royale pill? Oh man, this is just making... This is just making me really nervous. Because I'm so unsure about so many of these. They're so... They're so, like... Um, whatchamacallit? Ah, words. <laughs> there, there's so many, like... Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> let's just let's just let's just be, go to the B right back again. And next is double life. Right. I feel like double life is the one that I'm gonna know the best, but I'm also unsure. <laughs> I'm also unsure. Right. Which was the first duo to lose a life, Tango and Jimmy? But that's obvious. Which one of these trust building exercises were not in Scott's relationship rounds? Goat punch, berry bush bites, the human snow cone, the trustful berry bush bites. Berry bush bites, I think. Who was the first person Scar thought was his soulmate? Scar thought was his soulmate? Did Scar say like, oh, they're my soulmate? I feel like, I feel like that might be Jimmy. I think he mentioned something about Jimmy. I mean, obviously he finds out that Green's his soulmate, but he doesn't find that out for like ever. So I can imagine Scar being like, having his theories. And I think he mentioned something about Jimmy at some point. I'm gonna say Jimmy. What did Scar name his um, ally in session one? Mick. Key or mini? Mickey, I think, because B-dubs did an impression. What retextured mob? Pandas. <laughs> the Scar used for his pet petting suit. Pandas. During the fishing rod chain at the pre-pool party. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. Which of the players in the chain ended up, ended up dead from it? Joel. Etho. Pearl. Oh, from the chain. Hold on. No, Joel and Etho. Because they, they died. Which player trapped Martin's base with TNT in the final session? Oh, I have no idea. Not Pearl. Obviously. Oh, no, wait. Martin rigged his own thing to blow, didn't he? Didn't Martin rig his own building to blow? I feel like he did. What type of horn does Jimmy receive from Pearl? Oh, I have no idea. It's sing or feel. It's do 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 that one. What's that one? Sing. I think it's sing. <clears throat> oh, there's a few video compilations you can find on YouTube and really old videos like Green and Mumbo and a few others swearing. Yeah, I've seen those. <clears throat> what was the secret gift Green gave to Bigby and s signing him as a secret admirer? Three diamonds in a row. A heart made of cookies. No, that was. No, that was that, right? 
Or was that that? Was that that was a different gift? Was that a different gift? I don't know. I think it was a heart made of cookies. <clears throat> Bigby did that for green. True, he did. But I feel like Green did that for Bigby as well. I feel like I remember seeing like in a double chest a heart. But then again, Bigby doing the same thing to Green is weird. Was it a bread? I feel like it was that. The anatomical heart, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Bigby did, yeah, really? I mean, I remember, I remember Big Bees, but I, well, I thought Green did the same thing. I'd say a chest full of bread then. Um, at the end of Tango's final episode, what movie does he make reference to? Huh? I don't know. I haven't watched any of. Th I've watched. I've watched Dirty Fan Dancing. I haven't watched any of these movies. I haven't watched any of them. I haven't watched these three. It must be a movie reference then. Otherwise they wouldn't ask the question, right? Yeah, don't give me hints. Don't give me hints, guys. Druid Queen, I, I'm... I'm gonna say... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know it. I'll, I'll click it, because I, I know it now. But all right. Don't give me hints, guys. Why did Scar leap off the platform above um, he and... Green's base to perform a water bug clutch. Joel and Ethan were burning the pandas in the reserve. Um, yep. Sounds like it. <clears throat> it's alright, Druid Queen. It's okay. Who does the divorce quartet decide to hold hostage in Station 5? Jimmy. What was the official name of Green's base? The Spike Vel Vel the Red Velvet Keep. Which player is the first to discover the ancient city in the caves underneath the map? I'd say Impulse, yeah? Impulse and Ether were there very quickly. Impulse... Was it green? No, I think Impulse went down really quickly, so I'm gonna go for Impulse, because Impulse and Ether were down there very, very speedy. They were the one, they were the two of the first to go down. What was the name of Pearl's Laurel Wolf? Obviously Tilly. Who was the last player to discover their soulmate's identity? Not Etho. I think Scar. Because yes, Martin did his like soulmate thing at the end, which is where Martin find out his found out his soulmate's identity. But I think after that was when Scar and Green because that was right at the end of the session, I think. I'm not sure though. It could be Martin. I'm not sure the chronology the chronological thing of that. Cleo and Scott figured out very soon that it was either Pearl or Um Pearl or Martin. Which player don't burn down the relationship? Scott. Jimmy was already dead. I think it was Scott. Which pair was the first to find their soulmate? Impulse and beat ups. Um, who was the only player to lose all three lives because of their soulmate's deaths? Not Tango, because Tango was first to die. Not Impulse. Impulse fell off a ledge. So with Big B and Ren, no, Big B died to a creeper and went red. So it must be Martin then. So Martin pushed, I mean, Martin is his, it's his fault that his soulmate died. So wait, Martin pushed Cleo off ledge. That's how they died the first time. How did they die the second time? Oh, they drowned, Cleo drowned. And then Cleo died to, to yeah, it was, it was Martin, yeah. Who brought the warden to the surface? Tango, derp. Bad maths, yeah. How did Ren and Big B lose their first lives? Um, killed by an Enderman. That was their last life. Killed by a Skeletite and a Creeper Explosion was then on red. Which two players killed the Warden named the Rancher's Revenge? Which two players? Oh, come on. So, like, all of them were there. They were all... Oh. I feel like it was Etho and someone. I think it was Etho and someone. I'm gonna say Etho and Green. I think because Etho was the fish for fishing rodding all the way. And I can imagine Martin and Joel kind of just jumping around being bumbling idiots. I thought everyone put yeah, I thought so too, but I think two like 
fishing rods maybe broke or something? I don't know. Which player dubbed Pearl a demoness? That's a Ren thing to say. Demoness! I can imagine Ren saying that. Who are the three members of the Broken Hearts Club? Ren, Martin, Pearl, I think, right? Are we allowed to make comments on the answer after I put it in one? Sure. I'll find out that I'm wrong in that case. <laughs> I won't change the answer in that case. You always thought it was one person doing the final fishing bit? Green and... Although did Green's um, fishing rod break? I think he's, he's, he's disconnected. I'm not sure. Why did Ren and Bigby build their base with a face on the front? They wanted their base to be so ugly that no one would bother them. They actually didn't intend to build a face. It was accidental. That's not true. Joel pranked it. No. They hoped the face would draw people in so they could make more eyes. Nah, they wanted... They want, they, that's what they wanted. Don't think Ether was there when the, for the warden killing? No? Oh. Who was there? I thought there was four of them. Green, Joel. I think Ether was there. Um, right, so we'll go on to the last one. Next. And now limited life. Man, I'm not half as good as this as I thought I'd be. I'm gonna be honest. By the end of session one, how many hours did Skivs have left? Like 17? Right, he died. He died twice to the boogie. And once, so he lost five hours. I'm doing great, am I? Okay. <laughs> Martin was there. Martin was part of it. But the question is, was he like actively there? I think all four of them were there. That's the whole thing. That is actually really believable, but that's fair. So all four, that's the problem for it. All four of the players that were mentioned were there. So that was kind of mean. So Skiz was yellow the next session immediately, right? And that's under 16 hours. Um, so either 17 or 16, I think. They played for, I'd say, let's say they played for two to three hours. He lost five hours. 24. I think 17. If they played for two, if they played for three hours, it would be 16. If they played for, I'll say 17. I'm gonna say 17. Which of these rules is incorrect? A play, um, well, hello there, Truffle Jr. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here, my dude. Nice to have you. Thank you for pressing that little button. Which of these rules is incorrect? A player is green if they have 16 plus hours. That is true. If a player dies, they lose one hour. That is kind of true. Any boogeyman tr kill triples the time gained and lost. That is incorrect. It doubles it. Doubles it. Well, hello. Welcome to the chat, my dude. We are doing the big life series quiz um, that Chris Rin set up. We're almost finished. We're on to limited life right now. We're going to figure out how good I am at my life series trivia after this. Oh, I hope it's okay. I hope I'm not terrible. What was the most common um, cause of death this season? Fall damage. Oh, or player kills. You know, I feel like fall damage is a... Uh... No, it must be player kills, right? You can finally join. Well, hello. Um... It must be, it must be player kills. I think, I think the fall damage is a bit of a bamboozle. I think it has to be player kills. Player and Skynet. Yeah, they're the two ones. Also, by the way, guys, um, people new coming in from the chat, don't give me answers to these questions. Yeah, fifth opportunity in Minecarts, exactly. Um, don't give me answers to the, to the questions, even if I'm asking it hypothetically. I don't want the answers. Um, yeah. So, player kills, I think, is TNT dropping. So I think that's it. I think the fall damage is a bamboozle. Which player had a surprise guest appearance this season? Lizzie and Jem. How many times did Scott voluntarily die? So many times. Hold on, I need to go and switch on my light. Uh, lots. Hold on. How many? So he gave Cleo a life like maybe three times. He gave Jimmy a life. He gave Martin two lives. So I'm gonna say eight. Zero, not zero. How many deaths were due to a puffer fish? Okay. Martin? Or was it Green? Green. Green died to a puffer fish? Can I think of any others? Did. I feel like Jimmy died to a puffer fish at some point, or am I just making that up? I'm going to say one. I'm going to say one. I hope Lizzie and Jem are in the next live series. That would be so cool. I don't know if Jem said she wanted to. I don't think Jem said she wanted to be. I think she enjoyed her time, but I don't think she said she wanted to be in a full lot fledged live series. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I've somehow, somehow got that in my brain. 
Who, uh, would the lives at the end of the series count when they all tried to get under an hour? Oh, you're right. Must be 10 then, surely. You're right. Who was the second player to turn red? Skiz. Scar. Skiz, Scar. Skiz. Skiz was very soon after Scar. I think Skiz was second. During the Clockers family dinner, what fatherly activity does Etho propose to the boys? Um, play catch. To play catch with him in the yard, right? Yeah, play catch. Which of these is not a suggested name of Martin and Scott's Al? Oh my gosh. Seriously? Um, I think it's the Naughty Boys. The, the Naughty Ah, Temporal Jester. Okay, then read ich Deutsch. Ich glaub, oh, ich hab keinen Timer. Zwei Sekunden, Leute. Zwei Sekunden. Du, 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 du. So. Void, ich... Das... Sie, du, es hat nicht unbedingt mich dran... Es hat mich einfach einen dran Moment... Also, du wirst eh nicht verstehen, was ich sage, aber... Es hat mich nicht an... Es hat mich einfach einen Moment dran erinnert, dass existieren könnte. Sie haben nicht für mich geantwortet. Ah, ich muss was trinken. Okay, äh, ich meine Wasserflasche ist leer, Lex. Ich kann jetzt gerade nichts trinken, aber ja. Zwei Sekunden. Zwei Sekunden sage ich die ganze Zeit Sonntags. Das ist so ein kleiner ähm, Tick von mir. Und dann, ähm, das ist, das ist so, das, man sagt ja auf Englisch like two seconds, right? Like, oh, uh, give me a sec. So, gib mir eine Sekunde, oder? Aber <lacht> ich muss eine Minute lang Deutsch reden. Äh, in Fina Mini. So, so, so ist es manchmal. Kann das vielleicht jemand im Chat erklären? Santix kannst du das erklären. Ja, zwei Sekunden ist so ein kleiner Dings, das ich manchmal sage. <lacht> Natürlich, Andinos, genau. Deutschmodus ist aktiviert, genau. Ja, also Santix, ich finde immer eine Sekunde ist viel zu kurze Zeit. Also man, man kriegt nichts, man kann nichts in einer Sekunde fertig machen. Also sage ich mal zwei Sekunden, weil man ja so viel mehr Zeit hat mit zwei Sekunden. Okay, I can speak English again. Hello, I can... I can speak English. Um, guten Abend, Schnitzel. <laughs> Good evening, Schnitzel. Good, yes. I need to go refill my water bottle. Give me a little second, guys, so that I can hydrate. Be right back. I think the Naughty Boys is a very, very good one. <laughs> I like that, but I don't think that's one of Martin's. And I hydrate again. Okay, I shall do. Thank you. What was the first name given to the hill the Cockers Tower was on? It's... Oh! It's the Secure Mountain. I just recently watched this in b episode. I didn't know that otherwise. Because they all feel good, like, really secure in themselves. Or safe. It was a secure mountain. Yes, sorry, thank you. <laughs> it was a secure mountain. What was the first name given to the hill the clock's tower was on? Secure mountain, that was it. Um, which two players had their talents go beyond 24 hours? Scott and B-dubs, right? With the, with the boogie kills, must be. Tango's, Tango was on a lot of time. A lot of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Impaled. Hello, how you doing, my dude? It's been a hot minute. Um, Tango was like had like a lot of time um, further on because he was boogie twice, but otherwise, yeah, beat up some Scott because they were boogie at the start, right? Makes sense. Which player did Etho go to in order to get an easy boogie kill? I don't know. You're doing alright? That's good to hear. I'm also doing okay. I'm gearing up to start uni soon, so that's exciting. <laughs> Got a new semester coming, which means less rooms, but you know. Hello there, exactly. Um, which player did Etho go to in order to get new... <laughs> this is frustrating because I haven't gotten this far yet in B-dub's episode. <laughs> Not Joel. Not Joel. When was B... When was... Etho Boogie. Was it in the third session? Thank you, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Um. Where? When was Etho Boogie? 
Who was Boogie in the third session? Was it Ether? No, it was Impulse, wasn't it? Was that in the fourth session? Ah! I think I was. I did this with Hawk the other day because we had to figure out for 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 potential AU reasons. We had to figure out when Tango was Boogie. In what sessions Tango was Boogie in? I don't remember Etho being Boogie either. But I do. I, I kind of remember Etho being Boogie, but I don't remember him doing stuff as Boogie because of Jimmy's last session. You thought it was Boogie? I... I don't think it was Joel, I don't think it was B-dubs. Etho did kill Scar a couple times, I think. Oh, yo, actually no, it was Jimmy because Etho was really guilty that he killed Jimmy because he didn't know that Jimmy was on such low time, I remember now, yep. He was feeling really bad, like, oh, I didn't actually know that Jimmy was low on time. For a super secret story, Hulk, I've already been telling. <laughs> You'll not help me, thanks. <laughs> this is limited life. This is limited life. Um, no one's boogie was boogie because of time loss not working. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yes, I've been. All, I've already kind of hinted to the fact, Hulk, that you are doing something, and that I'm potentially doing something in the thing that you are doing. Oh, very, very precise. Right, let's get this finished so that we can actually continue drawing because we've been live for one hour and 40 minutes and we've barely done any drawing, so, you know. Who was not present during the match between B-Devs and Skiz in session two? Everyone was present. Literally everyone. Why did the bad boys extend their wheat farm towards the rock to get a boogeyman kill? Um, yes. Which one of these players did not die to Green's quad kill? It was Impulse, Scott, Etho, and Tango. Impulse, Scott, Etho, and Tango. Skiz was not a part of that. What movie spoiler was put on the m 5 in Joel Session 5? Darth Vader is Luke's father. It was that. Mufasa dies. Or was it Mufasa? Hold on. Was it Mufasa? No, it wasn't Mufasa dies, was it? Um, Jimmy lost an hour on the boogie, which gave him another life, but he still lost it. That was seven session where he killed Jimmy. He should have been out, but he died before they took out extra time. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Which of these did not happen to Green while he AFK during Session 7? Martin dangles Green off the side of Bread Bridge. Yes. Um, Scar kills Green with a TNT minecart. I don't think that worked, but he tried to. Cleo and Beatups tried to still. Cleo and Beatups? Cleo and Scar tried to kill Green, though. Martin puts Green in a hole to keep him safe. That's true. That's true. Wasn't it Cleo and Scar? You're definitely not writing a full on book for RAU. What are you talking about? What? Hawk is writing? Hawk is writing an AU book for Avatar The Last Airbender and Double Life? What? Green wins the live series was later? What? No, it did happen. Green died twice. Green died once. To... Martin. And Grin also died to... Oh no, that was when he killed Cleo and Grin and... Oh, that was when he killed a whole bunch of people. It's Cleo and Scar tried to steal Grin. Right. Don't, guys, don't give me any um, tips for in chat for this kind of thing. I'd like to try and do this afterwards. Can you say it after I answer it? Sure. If, if I've definitely clocked in and I've scrolled on and I'm not still unsure, even though I've selected something. If I'm unsure, even though I've selected something, then like don't say anything. But if I have clicked it and I've scrolled on to the next question, help yourself. Green changed the spoiler to say that he wins the series. Oh yeah, aha, that, yeah. During session four, Pearl and Bigby started stealing from everyone on the server, including which item? The mean Girl's enchantment table. During, started stealing from everyone on the server. The tie, did they? No, they still... No, it has to be the mean Girl's enchantment table. That was a whole thing. Unless... Green wins limited life and real life. What? I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult because every now and again, impaled, like people are coming in and I have to re-say it all, all the time. <laughs> but I, I, I totally understand if you, if you haven't heard it, then don't worry. Don't worry if you didn't know the rules, like, how could you, right? <laughs> um, session four. What was session four, man? That wasn't when they switched, um, 
when Cleo and Pearl switched. Cleo and Pearl. Yeah, Cleo and Pearl switched out with Gem and Lizzie. I don't think that was that session. But the session before that happened, Pearl stole the enchantment table. I'm going to go with the Mean Girls enchantment table. I don't know if it wasn't in session four, but that definitely happened. Right. What events do the Mean Girls host to call everyone on the server? Martin's birthday party. And I think Impulse changed it so he wins the series. That is true, yeah. And Green changed it? Oh, okay. He actually did almost. Yeah, yeah, he did actually almost spoil limited life. <laughs> what was Judge Eugene Ex Executioner's real name? Grandmaster Frog, I think. Crusty Juggle, Hot Fuzz Frog, Sir Frogged Yeah, what the heck? Hi, Vern. We are seeing how obsessed I am with the live series, you know, the series that I do the animatics to. We're, we're seeing in a 100 question quiz. You missed my voice? Well, hi, Vern. I missed yours too. I miss yours too. Vern, you got you coming you coming to me this week? You gonna come visit this week to do stuff? You know, you know what stuff? <laughs> in session eight, Scott allowed Scar to kill him for time in exchange for what items? Um Like Scott doesn't ask for anything, but Scar gives him a Nautilus shell, but or this week already? Vern, next week we're back at uni. I don't have time from then on. <laughs> you got time this week? I know it's a bit spontaneous. Why do the noisy neighbors glitch across the border? The noisy, the nosy. They believe they would be safe from attacks. They wanted to sneak into time. Now, does this count green? Is, is green part of the no nosy neighbors here? Yeah. You, um, uni starts on in exactly a week, Vern. <laughs> they wanted to sneak into Ty's base. Um... I think they believe they would be safe from attacks if we're counting Green. Which two players did not personally receive a compliment from Skiz? It was Tango and it was Impulse. Because he's given them affirmations in the past and he was like, nah, I I, I, I don't like them enough. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Noise neighbors glitched when Green joined. Yeah, the question is, um, oh yeah, Green glitched before then. So yeah, that's the only time they glitched, okay. How many deaths were due to fall damage? I don't know. None, yeah, none. So many. So. Like, um, so many. <laughs> Jimmy's last death. Oh, final deaths. Final. De I'm an idiot. I should read. Jimmy's tangos. Greens. Did I say like Im say impulse and select Jimmy? Where? Oh. Yep. No, I did not do that on purpose. Thank you guys. <laughs> am I available to call tomorrow? Sure, I am. We'll do that. Um, I'm gonna go home at some point tomorrow, so I, I like, are you free for the whole day? Because I can kind of, I can, if, if you're not free for the whole day, then I can, um, like, uh, uh, have my, have my trip home be between when we're not, when you're not free kind of thing. I could go in the morning if you're free in the afternoon. We can do with that. Um, how many final deaths were due to fall damage? Right, final deaths. Green, Jimmy. Tango. I drew all of these. Hold on, I'm. A, is it? Is it cheating to open my own animatic? Is it cheating to open my own animatic? It'll be free once you wake up. So in, I'll say I'll go in the morning and then I'll text you. I'm gonna look at the silhouettes of my own animatic because this is not looking online. So not Martin, not Impulse, not Scott, not Pearl, not Etho because I think he was actually killed by someone. Void says no. Jester says yes. Yes, it's cheating. Well, I've got it in my brain. I could still do it in my... Fine, okay. I've got it in my brain. Gr I know, I think it's Green. I think it's um, uh, Tango. And I think it's Jimmy. I think it's those three. <laughs> Let me just check the final death. But like... Oh, okay. These are my own drawings. I've kind of got them in my brain. It would just take me longer to try and recall them. So we have like, the, we've got Martin who wasn't, then Impulse, then Scott who wasn't, then Pearl who wasn't. Then we have Etho who I did draw falling, but I don't think he was actually killed by fall damage. Then we've got Green who was killed by fall damage. We've got um, Big B who was shot. We've got Cleo who was um, slashed. We've got Scar who was backstabbed. Tango fell. B-dubs. Uh, um, B Dubs was exploded by TNT. Joel was just shot. 
Or can you do the quiz? Um, impaled are... Uh, I don't know, I think I still have a link here. Yeah, there's the link. Enjoy the link. <laughs> it is in the... It is in general of the Ever SMP Discord if, you, if you're if you on there. And how much time did have, Martin have remained when we had the final kill at the end of the series? <sighs> Less than an hour. So it's between 30 minutes and 15 minutes. Time is delicious. I've watched that clip so many times. Ah, I don't, I'm going for 30 minutes. I don't know. Okay. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hold on. Is there anything that I need to do? Um, so I've got to send that to my email. Oh, see my points. I got 78 out of a hundred. Hold on, hold on. 78 out of a hundred. Let's go, guys. <coughs> 78 out of a hundred. That was really good. Right, let's see which ones we got wrong. 19 out of 25 and third life. Which one did I get wrong here? All those ticks. It's left to sign. Oh, so who was it? It was it was Cleo actually saying themselves. Okay, okay. It's impressive. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. Mamma mia. That's like 80%. Gotta go eat dinner. You enjoy your dinner, my friend. Okay. So I didn't, I genuinely didn't know that one. So that's fair. Um, oh, I got Daisy right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, name, Rendog. Ah, it was Rendog's Enchanted Emporium. I thought so. And um, which player informs, uh, again, I didn't. Oh, it was Etho? I would not have thought it was Etho. Okay. In that case. Um, and no Enderman pass. Okay, it wasn't a friendship pass. All right. I'll show you that you don't even get a single one there. Oh. Which player gives impulse banner of the Red Army? Oh, so it was Skids in the end. Okay, okay, okay. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. Um, <laughs> which player activates their no kill pass? Big B? Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I feel like that didn't work. Bye, bye, Jester. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my dude. Right. And so, last life, 20, from tw oh, 20 of 25 points. I'm happy with that. Which player makes the first ender chest on the server? It's Scott. Okay. Scott was my second choice because it sounds like a very Scott thing to do. Oh, thanks, Jester. I was just about to hydrate. And I shall stretch. Thank you. Ba -da -ba -deep. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was the first redstone contraption? Oh, it was the smoke signaling system! Ah! Darn it! The song is giving me Christmas vibes. I see that, I see that. Which of these is not crystal at Scar? This dexterity of the cat. Really? I totally would have. That was like one of the ones that I was thought for sure was one that he'd sell. Okay. How many lives were paid? Only four? Okay. Oh well. <laughs> and then Mumbo, yep. And how many kills did y'all have? It was 10 in the end? Ah. I was just like, so many. Right, double life. 21 or 25. This, I'm proud of that one. Proud of that. So, who was, what was wrong? Who was the first person Scar thought was his soulmate? Martin? Really? I would not have guessed Martin. Martin would have been the last person I'd, I would not have thought. Um, what did Scar name his ally? Oh, it was Minnie. Okay. Darn it. <laughs> but, oh, that confused me because b -dubs made a Mickey. Ma I think it was B-Dubs who did a Mickey impression. Oh, my darn it. Um, which player is the first to discover the ancient city? It was green. I was between Impulse and green. And then... Which two players killed the Warden? It was Joel and Mark. It was literally... Okay, that was the one that I was not going to go for. I thought Ether was a part of it. Darn it. Oh, well. Which player dubbed Pearl of Demoness yet, Ren? So those were the ones. Okay, and 18 from 25 in Limited Life? Oh, that's disappointing. I let myself down in Limited Life. 16 hours? Oh, I was between 16 and 17. Quiz, yes, quiz. Also, welcome, Ellie. Hi. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Martin, because he saw Martin from far away. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Well, hello there, fire car keys. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, my dude. Lovely to have you here. Fall damage? Really? Fall damage more than death, like... What? Hi, 
Hi, Ellie. We were sure it was player kills. Okay. Um, two death to a puffer fish. Okay, what was the second one then? I don't know. Hmm. Which player did Etho get go to in order to get an easy boogie kill? Oh, what? It was beat ups? Are sharks cute? Yeah, sharks are cute. Sharks are flipping adorable. If you do, don't touch them. Don't touch sharks because they're in their habitat and they're in their living their best life. And if you touch a shark and it bites you, it's your fault. It was Jimmy after he had fought Big B and was on the one heart. I don't, but 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 like, I don't know. Amazing, thank you. Yes, good. Green and Jimmy, both of Jimmy. Oh yes, of course, Jimmy. Then yes, I thought you were talking about Ethos boogie kill. Ah, yes, of course. That was idiot. That was such a stupid way to go. Oh, and Skulk Census. Oh, it was a multiple. It was a multiple choice question. I didn't even see that. Um, that deserves half a point. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I hoped it would. Four deaths, final deaths, four damage. So maybe Ethos was um, to four damage at the end. Maybe he wasn't actually killed someone by someone. I'm, I'm guessing that would have been Etho. Oh, and it must have been fit. One hour? He had one hour? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Done by Local Wheel, who is also like a, a huge S awesome, like hugely awesome um, animatic maker in the live series uh, sphere. Same with Sherry Fire. Makes awesome art for the live series. Um, Sherry, Sherry does... Green's most recent and most of um, Martin's thumbnails for their videos. So yeah, they're, they're awesome. Don't know the rest of them, but if I'll, I'll probably check them out if they are so big in the life series stuff, but that's awesome. Local Wheel has a very cute art style. Guys, we've been doing this for so long. Let's go back to drawing. <laughs> Bringing it to a full hour. Have we been doing this for a full hour? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This has been an art. This is supposed to be an art stream. Have I done any art? No. Done terribly. Okay, back, back, back to Earth Decay 2. Yep, that's so valid. Is my thing still sharing? It is not. Can you please share the screen? Please. It's loading. Fernando, I promise it's loading. <laughs> that was that was a great tangent. I love that. 